Hey guys, this is Chef Chris, and today we are making raisin, pecan, and walnut oatmeal cookies. Decided to go a little healthy on you guys today. I'm over here at my grandmother's. This is one of her favorite oatmeal cookie recipes. I'm making them for her, and I figured, hey, why not show you guys how to make them as well? They're chewy, a little crispy on the outside. They're delicious. All right, so let's get started. All right, we're going to start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. This is a very fast recipe. It's only going to take you minutes, so get that oven started. All right, on a chopping block, I decided to go with pecans and walnuts. Of course, it goes without saying, use your favorite kind of nut. Go nuts. Whatever you like is what you put in there. All right. In a bowl, we're going to mix in our dry ingredients. We have got our instant oatmeal. We have got whole wheat flour. Of course, definitely you can substitute it for regular all-purpose flour. I decided to use dried uh, cherries and dried pomegranates, a little bit of raisins. I just went a little crazy. All right, with doing those nuts, I've got some cinnamon, some baking powder, and some salt. Of course, I have all the ingredients and measurements listed down below as usual. And we're going to give this a nice stir. We're going to make sure that everything is well incorporated, okay? All the flour, all the oats are dispersed. Okay, now in another bowl, it's time to mix our wet ingredients. We have got two eggs that are at room temperature, okay? Very important, that I whisk together. Now we have some brown sugar added in there and a few teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, there we go. And to that, we're also going to add in quite a bit of just vegetable oil. I think I use vegetable oil. Canola oil should be fine as well. A nice helping of honey. And we're going to stir that as well. And that is pretty much it, guys. Make sure that's well incorporated. And it's time to mix in our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. How fast was that? A fast, good, simple cookie. It took me minutes, and that's all it should take you guys. All right, so we're going to incorporate this and stir it in. Now, you don't want to over stir. I'm basically here just slicing through and giving like a folding technique here. Just make sure we don't overdo it. Once everything's incorporated, it should take you just a minute or two. Right about there, stop. No more. Don't want them too tough, okay? All right, on a baking sheet, I got a silicone mat, got some spray, a one-fourth cup measuring cup, and um, that's how I'm going to put my cookies to make sure they all come out the same size. We want uniformity here, guys. That's how you... Uh, that's how I want my cookies to look. So I got one fourth coming out there. I sprayed them in there so it doesn't stick. You're gonna pat them down with the other side of the uh, of the cup measuring cup, okay? Because these don't melt down. They don't really the size you practically put them in the oven is almost the exact same size they're gonna come out, okay? So we're gonna stick it into the oven. We're gonna set the timer for only 12 minutes. Doesn't take long at all. Once the bottom are golden brown, they are set. Perfect. Took them out. Delicious. Let them cool down. We'll try to let them cool down. Took it open. Beautiful, delicious, chewy, soft. Ah, oh, a nice oatmeal cookie, guys. All right, well, that's my uh, oatmeal cookie recipe. Any recipes you guys would like to learn how to make, let me know. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy.